Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is Time Magazine's Person of the Year. The announcement was made yesterday morning on the Today Show. Zelensky and the Ukrainian people will be sharing this honor as he graces the cover as the country continues to defend itself from a Russian invasion that military experts thought would end with a Ukrainian defeat in just mere weeks. Fargo South Student Council is giving back to those who served our country. Now they are gifting handmade blankets to North Dakota veterans. The teenagers made fleece blankets and then will bring them to the State Student Council Conference in Bismarck this weekend. I love coming here and hanging out with these people, especially knowing in the back of our minds that we're also doing something good while we are having fun at the same time. It's really just the people that make it such a great experience. Always nice to hear from young students. Now the students spent many days and many hours sizing, cutting, and tying those fleece blankets together all after school hours. The Great Plains Food Bank has a new chunk of money to help feed hungry children and families. A $100,000 grant from the Otto Bremer Trust. They say it comes at a crucial time, especially since donations just reached their lowest point since the year 2018. And that shortage could translate into 800,000 fewer meals for those who are hungry and in need. Since 2010, the Otto Bremer Trust has awarded more than $800,000 in grants to the Great Plains Food Bank. Adding yoga to your exercise routine could reduce the risk of heart disease. Researchers from Canada conducted a three-month study of 60 patients diagnosed with high blood pressure and metabolic syndrome. Two groups each took 15 minutes of either structured yoga or stretching in addition to 30 minutes of aerobic exercise five times a week. They found that adding 15 minutes to a daily workout routine can lower your blood pressure, resting heart rate, and improve a person's 10-year cardiovascular risk. Previous studies have shown that it can also help relieve symptoms of atrial fibrillation and various mental health conditions. Time to get zen. About a week ago, we shared a story of three North Dakota teens headed to the Big Apple to sing at Carnegie Hall, and we just found out someone else will be joining them. Yeah, start spreading the news. Caitlin <laughs> Albers is a senior at Center Stanton, and in February, she'll be packing her saxophone and heading to New York. The high school senior has been playing the piano since second grade and the saxophone since fifth grade. Start spreading the news. Bum, bum, ba, da, da, <laughs> That's going to be stuck in our heads all morning. Yeah, now. well, all right. Good for her, though. Let's see how people are responding now to our question of the morning on Facebook. That question today is, there are now almost 10,000 of these in the United States. Here are some of your answers. Teresa says, state parks. Bobby says, electric cars. He must have also entered the charging station. And Mackenzie says, airplanes. Okay, let's see. I don't know what it's going to be, you guys. Well, it could be a lot of things. To join in on the conversation, head on over to our question of the day on our Valley News Live Facebook page. We'll be back with the correct answer a little later on in show. New for you at 6.30, a May Day emergency that came too late for two firefighters who were trapped during a house fire. Plus, we've got travel maps just ahead right here in the valley today. We're checking out road conditions in North Dakota and Minnesota. And of course, meteorologist Lisa Green will be joining us with a look at our forecast. And as we leave you there, check out our full moon. Wow, be right back.